Okay, this video is about uploading your Breeze interface. Uh, once you create your Breeze interface, you would want to upload that to the Breeze software. Anyhow, this is my Breeze interface. Uh, basically, it's a series of curtain, and I have one. This is where the first picture will be taken. Your live view will be located in here. And then, you know, you got your buttons, black and white, color, and then when they're ready, just push the start. Next is this, the, this is the second uh, picture, third picture, fourth picture, which is the last, that's why I titled it last. So, but uh, anyways, Breeze will also, you know, prompt that this is the last picture. This JPEG right here is gonna prompt when your camera is not connected it'll be prompt that your camera is not connected um, I put in a grid the grid measurements in there for you so you can technically see how to set it up you know on the measurements if you touch if you go through the touch screen section uh, it'll show you that there are parameters in there where you need to enter the numbers uh, left would be 50 right would be 400 top would be 550 the bottom would be 725 this is the parameter for the black and white and it also goes on uh, the same thing for the colors and the push start buttons but uh, if you set it this way if you follow these numbers basically it's telling your user that anywhere inside this parameter where they touch it'll activate the command um, overlays overlays are basically templates that you create uh, this is where your pictures will be printed. Um, this is the transparent section right here. The pictures that you take from your photo booth will appear here on this transparent. And then this is your design. Basically, this is where you enter the, the title or the event that you're going to be doing. Now remember, Breeze software only understands the word overlay. So you could put as many... Uh, uh, kind of designs here in this folder it will not get pulled uh, only the ones that says overlay on it which is you know it's gonna pull a single one you can't really have two overlay in there because it won't allow you um, ready this JPEG right here is right here is the first the first JPEG that gets pulled when your user is using your photo booth the live view the live view goes here and basically you know I put in a text message there saying make your selection and push when push start when ready and then you got this thing that says taking uh, meaning you know every time this every time the camera takes a shot uh, I have this thing so that Breeze software knows to pull this JPEG and it says look at the camera above this screen and then once everything is all done, it'll prompt your user to pull this, I mean the Breeze software to pull this for your user to know that it's all done. Uh, their pictures will be ready outside and enjoy the rest of the party. So basically that is all compiled into one folder. This is pretty much what you need to operate a photo booth inside this folder. I titled mine Breeze Interface. You can title it anywhere, uh, any title you want. It doesn't have to be Breeze, Breeze Interface. Now, we're gonna go to the RDSLR Remote Pro. Um, I'm gonna go here and that is the green screen right there. Um, let's see. Um, if you go to File, Photo Boot Settings, in order for you to load that, that um, Breeze interface, you have to go to File, Photo Boot Settings, and then right here where there's three dots, it's uh, labeled Photo Booth Image Folder Containing Screen and Layouts and Overlay Images. There's three dots right on the, on the right side. Just click on that dot. And then... Um, look for that folder that says breeze interface I know mine is in I know mine is located in my desktop so I'm just gonna have a breeze software pointing at that folder and I'm gonna hit OK 
and then um, I'm gonna go to custom layout setting just to make sure that my templates are done right so I'm gonna go here and I am gonna go to uh, my preview to see if it's set up right see I could tell right away this is not set up right because it's, it has four pictures I know my temp my template more, has more than four pictures so I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna hit OK I'm gonna hit OK and then I'm gonna get out of here and then I'm gonna go back to my breeze interface and then I'm gonna look at this and it's, it's a preset so I'm just gonna go in here because that's one large three small I'm gonna go back to my breeze software I'm gonna go to file photo boot settings I'm gonna go to my custom layout settings I'm gonna go to my preset layout because that, that template I created for a preset and then I'm gonna go here I'm gonna click one large three small and then I'm gonna hit OK and then from there I'm gonna go to my preview and then I'm gonna put my mouse right on the edge of this one just to make sure it matches and voila there it is it matches I'm gonna hit exit I'm gonna hit OK and then just to make sure I don't lose this layout because this is exactly the layout that I want uh, I can create save I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna save it to breeze interface and I'm gonna title this template template.xml um, I'm gonna hit that and that's basically one profile save right there and that's pretty much how you load in your uh, breeze interface so just to test that go to file full screen photo booth mode and it's saying that warning the following screen image are missing yeah well it's missing because my video is activated and it's not supposed to be so I'm gonna enable that that was from a previous uh, um, settings earlier now I'm gonna go back to file and I'm gonna go full screen photo booth mode and BAM look at that ladies and gentlemen thank you